news and it just didn't go anywhere. So that's why I say that. Vice President Kamala Harris, though, is taking her re-election push to HBCUs with a new homecoming tour. And she's hitting key battleground states like Georgia, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina, rallying students and alumni at some of the most storied historically Black colleges and universities. The aim to lock in Black voter support and momentum for her 2024 ticket. Our school, Lincoln University, the Lincoln University, one, eight, five, four. Y'all gonna leave me hanging? First HBCU for sure. Oh my God. Like, I can't. Uh, we're done. Um, Lincoln's on the list, and it had better be. But here's the question. Is Harris's focus on HBCUs a winning strategy for connecting with young Black voters? Or is this a sign that the campaign is actually worried about slipping support in the Black community? Because Republicans are also trying to attract these same voters. So is this the best way to go for Kamala, um, engaging with Black voters? Or is she just preaching to the choir? What do you think, Ty? Um, that's, that's the playbook, right? The, you have to get the people in that age group to get out there and vote for you. So hitting the HBCUs, um, wearing your chucks and your pearls and, you know, throwing up your you sign. Like she doesn't wear them normally? What, what, what do you mean by that? I don't know if she normally wears them, but she'll have them on for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> in your colors. And you, you get out there and you get those people to vote for you. And, that, and that's a strategy that is necessary. Um, because I don't know, um, when you talk to young people, they seem to not like her very much, but I always ask them, I'm like, are you not liking her, but are you voting for Trump? Or you just want right. us to know that you don't like her? I'm not really right. sure. So it's really, I, I don't know. So she got to get out there and, and, uh, win some support there. Cause I think a lot of people, honestly, some of the people that, that talk about her, I, I look at them and I don't really think they're even registered to vote. I, that's a whole nother conversation. Can you tell, is that like, can you tell by looking at someone if they're registered? I can tell by looking at you whether or not you're registered to vote, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dex, what do you think about, now could you, Dex, okay, full disclosure, um, the Bro Talk Live YouTube account is very popular currently um, because of a clip we shared last week about Janet Jackson. Dex was battling in the comments. I gave it a day. I responded to maybe five comments. Dex has been going to war in the comment section of the Janet Jackson clip where Janet Jackson says that she was under the impression that Kamala Harris was not black. So Dex, knowing this now, do you think this is a response to that? I mean, I'm sure they had this in the works, but is this something that you think she needs to actually put a stamp on? I do think that it's good for her to go to HBCUs. I don't think that she needs to address if she's black or not. I think no. that is silly. I think, though, she does need to go to HBCUs, not necessarily just to, to get votes, because if I'm being honest with you, I think a lot of these people are already sent, submitted to vote for her anyway. But I think it's good to have that FaceTime with them, and I think it shows that you appreciate them. I think that's that's necessary. And also, like, she is an HBCU alum, too. Like, it's not like one of those things where she's just popping up and going to an HBCU. Like Hillary going, yeah. like Yeah, on. which, I mean, she probably would have, too. But I yeah. think that it's, it's one of those things where it's like Obama did it, and we didn't have an issue with it. You know what I mean? Like, and he went, but ours, he didn't come to ours, but he had, like, a representative come there, and we didn't have an issue with it. But, like, now it's like, it's like everything Kamala does, it's like under this microscope of like, you're trying to prove that you're black or you're trying to do. And it's like, no, I'm well, you're, you're pandering everything. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm going to a school that has black people there because I want their vote. Right. 100%. And you would think that Trump would go there as well, considering the fact that you want the same vote. He should copy and paste our whole schedule. And when she leaves, you should come. Why wouldn't you do that if you want these people's vote? To me, it shows that she cares about getting these people's vote. I think Trump has written off certain populations, and he's gonna he's going to hammer his base um, as best he can. I don't his base is not going to grow or shrink. Um, we just need to know whether or not his base is as big as he thinks his base is. Um, but he's not going to try to bring in new voters. I don't think because do you think th to the opposite effect though that Kamala should then now focus on broader you know, economic and social issues instead of leaning into the racial identity stuff. But I don't think that's what she's doing, though. I think that she's going to HBCUs because like these are votes that she wants. I don't, I don't think that she's doing this just because, like, oh, this is a racial thing. I, I, I okay. could be wrong, but I don't think that... I don't think that's her mindset. Like, this is a racial thing. I mean, and also, you know how serious we take going to an HBCU. Like, you can't be an HBCU graduate, run for president, um, and, and not... 
yeah. when they yeah. you tore out. It's just not a thing. If you can't do that, it would be a, almost a slap in the face um, because you know you know they're going to prop you up. But it's like, oh, you didn't even bother to come here. You went to this school and that school. You didn't buy. So it, it's it's something that she kind of has to do too. Yeah. Also, have you had fried fish from an HBCU homecoming? Delicious. Fried hard. That's why she's going. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they exactly. don't got that in the White House. <laughs> Definitely not frying hard in the White House. No, it's not happening. They probably it's baked it. Awesome, Hillary Clinton's hot sauce stuff. Exactly. Speaking of Hillary, Ty, look at you. My gosh. Well, Damn. Him. What'd you say, Dex? Dex? What'd you say, Dex? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Now let's talk about potential curveball in the 2024 race. Former Secretary of State picture face deck. Hillary Clinton is face, is raising the alarm about what she's calling an October surprise targeting Vice President Harris. Clinton is strong from her own 2016 appearance and warns that we could see a wave of misinformation and disinformation that distorts, quote unquote, and perverts Harris's record in the final stretch before Election Day. So guys, now with Clinton in the mix, do you think she's helping Harris or will this just stir up more controversy and distraction for the campaign? Do you think she's doing more harm or she's helping? What do you guys think? I can tell you one thing for sure. And I what? think that's one thing that everyone knows, maybe except her, is people hate Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> and whether it's justified or not, um, they hate her. And so oh, they do. She's very I poor, I think. don't. If I were the mamala, I okay. would text her and be like, a girl, kindly just <laughs> there for me for a little while um, so that we can, you know, not associate. I don't respectfully? That's what you would say? Respectfully? Respectfully. I don't want to be associated with your run. I don't <laughs> want your advice on what's going to happen. I don't want to talk about how they're going to refuse to certify the election. I don't want to hear anything about what you're doing right now. You want to hear about the FBI? Distance myself from you for a little while. I'll see you when I'm in the White House. When we win that thing. Um, Dex, uh, you've been a very big proponent of Hillary Clinton's career. Um, I have. From, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about her giving advice to Kamala about what to expect in about, you know, this month, actually? It's October 1st today. Didn't she lose? She did lose. That's why she's fuck. raising this concern because she's saying she was in the lead just like Kamala was. She feels like she has this. She had the same momentum at the time that Kamala has. That was the problem. Though. And now she thinks uh, that in October they were doing hashtag I'm with her, her like forced like but, that. That I'm with her. Or, I'm with her. I guess was like <laughs> a big thing. So don't. I don't want her to think she had the same momentum as Kamala because she absolutely did not. We literally <laughs> were having a less of two lesser two evils conversation with her like Kamala didn't have we don't have that conversation right now it's either you're going to vote for one or the other Hillary literally was one of the lesser two evils and the other evil was Donald Trump like what, what, <laughs> you don't get to speak <laughs> so respectfully bow out Hillary back don't up. even respectfully like, please you know, a lot of talking like this is not my first interview that I've seen her like what is she doing trying to Hillary Clinton wants to ride the coattails of Kamala Harris at this point okay well, we wish Hillary the absolute best as she goes on her endeavors. Um, all right. Uh, I guess. So that segment was called Keeping Up with Kamala. I'm going to get some imaging for that next week. Um, 